Hello, this is Jean-Carl Soller, uh, making a presentation on behalf of the Butterfront Living History Group. And today, I propose to talk about um, the U-boat deck guns. Of course, U-boats were very important in the Second World War, especially in the context of the conflict in Malta. And uh, U-boats were obviously interdicting shipping, um, um, mainly in the Atlantic, but also to a limited degree, also in the Mediterranean. So, the U-boat, the primary armament, was obviously the torpedo. Um, however, the U-boats carried a limited number of torpedoes and important to the function of the U-boat to sink uh, merchant shipping um, was the deck gun. And the commonest deck gun uh, mounted in the more common U-boat Type 7 and also in other U-boats, but uh, specifically on the Type 7, uh, was the 8.8 centimeter uh, Schnellader Canone um, Construction Year 35, so the uh, SKC 35. This was an 8.8 mm cm or 88 mm deck gun with a dropping uh, um, breech, dropping block uh, breech, uh, which was loaded obviously one by one with shells such as these. So this is the 88 millimeter on the German terminology 8.8 or 8.8 centimeters. Um, not to be confused with the similar uh, caliber but different round used on the famous 88, uh, the anti aircraft and the uh, also anti tank application um, uh, Flak 18. So this is a shorter round with a uh, 9.5 approximately kilogram high explosive projectile. There was also an armor piercing projectile and there was also a high explosive incendiary and there was also an illuminating or flare round. Um, the, the, the gun was mounted on the deck of the U-boat in front of the conning tower. Uh, it had controls on both sides of the gun so it could be operated on either side. The shells were stored uh, in, in uh, watertight transport tubes and they were loaded one by one into the gun uh, to be fired obviously at merchant shipping. The primary use was either to finish off a ship that had been torpedoed but had not sunk and therefore the rounds would be used uh, to, to, to set the ship on fire or to penetrate the hull and therefore accelerate its sinking or else they were used as the primary um, armament for sinking certain uh, merchant shipping to save on the use of torpedoes. So again, as I said before, it's a high explosive projectile. So it's a, you know, the steel projectile and the fuse and inside there's the high explosive uh, um, filler and this is the cartridge. And interestingly, I also have uh, the high explosive filler so this is um, the, the ex high explosive filler which was inside the projectile. Uh, this is the filler and it's also a typical German precision <laughs> provided also with a label with all of its contents. And this is another example of the fuse. Um, this is slightly, uh, when the condition is, is mediocre, but these things are rare to find and sometimes you find things which have been uh, abused over the years or possibly even found under the sea. So this is the fuse which then fits onto the onto the warhead. So the SKC-35 was developed uh, in, in 1935. There was also an 88 SKC-30 which was a high angle 88 which was on some U-boats used for anti-aircraft defense. There were some U-boats which actually had a specific role as uh, anti-aircraft U-boats. And later, later on in the war, there was also some, some U-boats were fitted with the 105 um, millimeter SKC-32, uh, a larger caliber gun. However, when merchant ships tended to have, um, also were fitted with guns for self-defense, the unshielded, obviously they were unshielded, these guns, they're at the front of the uh, conning tower, they're, they're, they're always obviously uh, above the deck obviously of a u-boat and so for a shield would have resisted water flow and would be um, uh, would not work therefore these guns were unshielded and when merchant ships were provided with self-defense uh, the 88 gun became impractical and in fact was either removed or not installed in, in later on in the war and some of these guns were eventually um, um, 
mounted on other ships and used in other roles. Um, the, the round travelled at about 700 metres per second. Um, however, what I would like to, to do now is also to show you for comparison the 88 millimeter, which was mounted uh, on on the uh, the capital ships and the the also the uh, larger ships uh, for comparison. Okay, so as I as I stated for comparison, uh, we, we'll we'll see here obviously the U-boat 88 uh, SKC 35 shell. This is the cartridge for the 88 millimeter or 8.5 centimeter flak 18 um, the anti-aircraft and also the famous um, anti-tank uh, gun it was an anti-aircraft gun used in the anti-tank application and here we have the 88 uh, gun the the naval um, shell so the cartridge is slightly different it's made, I believe this is of brass and the the shell is painted yellow the the, the projectile is painted yellow um, which was quite standard um, for the Craze Marina. And here the fuse is obviously missing. Instead you have the fuse pocket protector of Bakelite uh, um, uh, in place.